Hello everyone, it is prayer time again here at God TV and God bless you today. Thank you so much for sending us your prayer requests and also your testimonies of what God is doing in your life. Today we're going to pray about salvation. Now we have received so many prayer requests of people asking that we pray for salvations for them, for their loved ones, for family and neighbor. And maybe you are watching and you've just switched on and you have never made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. Well, today we're going to pray and we're going to ask God's grace in your life. Now, I've received some prayer requests here from Katiwe and she says, I'm lost and I feel alone. Uh, Suzanne says, please pray for my salvation, that God will have mercy on my soul. Um, I have some personal friends that I'm praying for right now. And then also Mari says, please pray for Joanna and for Juanita. So we're going to do that right now. But before we do, I just want to share the scripture with you that's related to the fact that Jesus has come and has provided a way for us to have a relationship with the Father and come to a place of peace and have hope in the world. Now, in Ephesians 2, from verse 12 to 13, it says the following. 12 to 13, let me find it here quickly. It says that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants uh, of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But verse 13 is the key one here because it says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. So we see that the Father has provided a way for us through Jesus. In 1 Peter 2.24, we read the following. Uh, it says here, Who himself, that is Jesus, bore our sins in his own body on the tree that we have um, that we have died to sins might live for righteousness. So we see in these scripture verses that the Father has made a way for us. But first, you and I have to recognize that we are living in the world. We are with hope, uh, without hope and without God in the world. And secondly, we have to realize that the Father has sent Jesus to die on the cross for you and me. He wants us to be in relationship with Him. He wants us to be in right standing with Him. He wants us to live a life right now on earth, but also when we leave one day, when we die, that we will go into eternity and be present with Him forever. So I'm going to lead you now in prayer. Join me. If you've just switched on, you are welcome. Let's pray this prayer and ask God's forgiveness and also ask Him to uh, come into our lives and take control. So Father, in the name of Jesus, please repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, will you please forgive me of my sin today? Father, I'm without hope and I'm without God in this world, but I cannot continue to live like this anymore. I need you in my life. Please forgive me of my sin. Please forgive me for the things that I've said and the things that I've did and the people that I've hurt in my life. Father, as you forgive me now, I forgive those who've hurt me. Lord Jesus, would you please come and cleanse me of all my sin? Will you please come and live in my heart? Will you please be my Lord and my, my Savior, first of all, but Lord, also become my Lord. I ask this only in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that you are setting me free. You have, you've forgiven me. Father, and you've set me free, and Lord, you are filling me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. I receive you now, and I thank you for forgiveness. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. Now, that is the most important prayer that you could have ever prayed. And through that prayer, Jesus forgave you, and he came to live inside of you. It's now important that you share this with somebody uh, some family members or friends to tell them what you just did and uh, God bless you for making that decision is the best one you've made today so father we thank you for everyone that is watching and and we're asking you um, Lord that you bless every person in Jesus name right they are a prayer email at the bottom of the screen please email us your prayer requests and let us know what God is doing in your life until next time God bless you